Mental health, oh my goodness. I don't know where to start with this. Everything's a state of mind. Confidence is a state of mind. You can exercise, the hormones go to your brain, you can feel happy, but it's still your state of mind. You can have the loveliest friends, you can be in the gym every day eating, you can have the best job opportunity, but your state of mind will determine whether or not you can stay in that situation positive for long. Hi everyone, I'm Sarima Ibrahim and I believe mental health is a topic that's not talked about enough. It's too much of a taboo and there's too much stigma attached to it. Although mental health to me is very, very important and it should be to everybody and I've been affected by it too. So today I'm going to share a little bit about mental health and why it's so important that we raise awareness about it. Mental health is something that's overlooked and you know, it's often we're trying to treat the symptoms when it's too late rather than prevent them, you know. Mental health is just as important if not as important as physical health. And mental illness doesn't start off as an illness. It is usually a condition and then the symptoms get worse and worse over time and then unfortunately it becomes an illness. I do believe that in order to be confident you have to be of a clear mind in the sense that you need to be able to be grounded and at least know who you really are. So I believe in therapy. I am a person who, because I study psychology, I don't see any shame or taboo in therapy. I think therapy can only help you with your confidence. Therapy can actually help guide you down your life path, whether you're picking a university, whether you're picking the next job or the next relationship. Not therapy as in lie on a couch and just like, macam, you know, I'm gonna tell you my life story and then just one session. It's got to be something gradual where you, you have to touch on your past as well. Sometimes we carry baggage from the past that we relive today and it damages what we have today at work and in personal relationships. And I believe therapy and improving our mental health is so crucial. Those who you hang out with have a huge influence. I mean, even kalau dari segi agama, we can even look into that. People, you know, it, it is in the message for us that, you know, choose your friends wisely. Um, and it, it makes a huge impact. From, from young, we like to follow. We are creatures of um, feeling connected and sometimes we connect by imitating. So what others do in close encounters with us is what we will probably do as well. So we imitate, children imitate, teenagers imitate. Surrounding yourself with, I don't say just positive people, I say real people because life is never just positive or just negative. It's always going to go between both. There's a grey area. There are really horrible days and there are really great days and then there are days that are just meh and then there are days that are okay. And those sometimes in those days you're like, oh no, I need to chase the next high. I need to, I need to achieve something. I need them to think I'm cool. I need them to love me. And, and that's where we get stuck in it because we just not the high. We just want the high and we want to be happy all the time. So I believe we need to be able to go through the bottoms to come up, the bottoms to come up. And the people you hang out with can play a huge importance. And sometimes the friends we have in our youth, a lot of people try to hold on to the same people throughout their life. That's a mustinya bully because we grow and they grow and it's okay. And if you have to let go of some friends or they let go of you, don't take it personally. It just means that you're in a different space at, at a different time.